we are talking. so yesterday in the overview session we know what will happen each and every phase right so these three phases we have completed now we are in the pre processing phase in the pre processing phase it is asking the lock the development environment so which means when you lock the development environment what will happen the people the developers they will not do the any repository changes developers they will not perform any repository changes in the development system why because so why because why they cannot perform any changes in the development so now we are locking the system the tables will be copied from the shadow repository from your original repository to shadow repository in the yesterday's diagram we discussed so that will happen so and also there is a no see there is a open repairs found that's why we always need to check the any any uh, like any any transports are open status so all those things we have to clearly cross check all those things here in case of the transports are already locked status here means open repairs so in that case what we have to do we need to unlock the transport or we have to release the transport request here go to the sc03 transaction code so there uh we have the unlock objects from the tr there is a option so we can go to the unlock objects so here just to provide the transport request number then unlock the objects here so when you unlock the objects so you we cannot add more objects into the this transport request here means we are not releasing just we are unlocking the transport request here we are just unlocking the transport request here right that's what we are doing here unlocking the request here so it's unlocked so then just click on the next button here then it will go to the next step here it will go to the next step here so that's what we have to do it in the systems here here this is always this is a progress bar this is a roadmap steps we have the six roadmap steps in entire some upgrade extraction configuration sex pre processing execution and post processing here right so then so this is the version of the sum tool we are using as you know what version we have to use some 1.0 2.0 1.0 for what 2.0 for what your systems we have to use it here in the net paper version 7.5 or above we need to use the sum 2.0 so below we need to use the sum 1.1 we have to use it this is the task list of what task is running currently this will give you the information here right this is the logs here here we can check the each and every phase there is a phase log will be displayed those logs we can check it out here right that is the logs so breakpoints breakpoints means so suppose you want to stop the you want to uh, suppose in the pre processing there is a multiple phases will run right so if you want to stop in this phase then you can set the breakpoint here so so that it will stop in this breakpoint here so that is the breakpoints so then utilities as i mentioned yesterday some utilities utilities means here we can check the how much space how much space so here we can check the so the analysis file here this is the very very important analysis file here so what is the db size it got increased so then what is the configuration like what is the languages what is that when you started the some upgrade then what is the time now right so how many patches right so what is the source version and a target version you are going here right so then roadmap steps in each phase how much time it's taken configuration phase 1 hour 5 minutes configuration phase then six phase only 25 minutes right so then pre processing is running now so each and every phase in 1 hour 5 minutes also so uh, like uh, if each phase is taken the more time here which phase is taken the more time here right so 1 hour 30 minutes taken the db clone this one then so remaining so like that it will giving the overview here so this is the analysis file parameters analysis some statistics here database statistics here what is the database growth so all the information will be 
displayed here, right? So CPU usage here. So memory usage, what is the memory usage? Then disk usage here. So all the all the information will be all the information will be tracked here in the sum utilities in the utilities file. So how many process you are using here? Suppose if you want to increase the process is running very slowly, you want to increase the process, then you have type of the wrong passwords. You are increasing, then you can increase, decrease. You can also take the decision here. That is called the sum utilities. Some utilities we can make the decisions here. Some utilities we can make the decisions here, right? So that is the one thing here. Pre-processing phase. So pre-processing phase, what will happen here? Here your shadow system will be created. Shadow will be created here. Shadow repository. Then so shadow SAP system, shadow will be upgraded. All the things will happen in this case here. All the things will happen in this case here, shadow system here, right? So that is what here, it will happen, right? Shadow system purpose, it will happen all those things here, right? So that is the shadow concept here, right? So then execution, this is the downtime, post-processing, some cleanup activities, shadow deletion, those things will happen in the systems here. So this will continue to run. So now nothing will ask why, because the nodes implementations all the steps are done. So now it will run. It will run it here. See here, shadow SHD. SHD started. Starting shadow cloning. Shadow DB cloning is started. Starting means shadow repository created. Then it will clone the data. Clone the table. Data means basis table, which means so only uh, some of the tables data will copy to the repository. That repository it will copy the data here. That will happen here now in these steps here. So it will continue to run here. It will continue to run here. It will continue to run in this phase here. So here you will come to know what's happening here. So so what's happening here? It will check in the access. Then so tables, table tables. So what's happening here? All the information will be displayed here. All the information it will check out here. You can see it here. Log files. So what's happening here? Remind the above object that need to be adjusted. So if you if you closely watching the screens, then you will come to know what's happening in the systems and log files and everything. You can check it out. So you can progress it is in the offline here. This is about the sum overview. So port number is the double one two nine is the port number here. So coming to the the OS level, the sum OS level here. So. So here, you know, there it will create the, under the SID, it will create the one folder that is called the sum folder here. There is a above. In the above here, this is the binaries, some third binaries related things we never touch. So this is the shadow binaries, core files, data files. So this is not important log. So this log files are very important here. Why? Because in the sum screen, you are seeing that this log files because of it is referring from in this log only in the above some above log folder it will refer from the some above log folder it will refer from the some above log folders only same whatever the information it is displaying here so is adjust log and db clone and all those things mm -hmm. it will refer from it will refer from in this screen itself only right in this screen itself only above log here right then mem mem so so this is the some mem uh, passwords i think passwords related so sap names and that is not also num system system means shadow system related prof profiles here shadow also will be created right what is the shadow instance number what is the shadow profiles all but because shadow also one of the sap system where the shadow will be created so based upon this kernel shadow will be created here Right, so system under the above system, the shadow profiles will be exceeded. So shadow exe, this is the shadow related kernel files here. Why? Because SAP system will run based upon the kernel. So my shadow also SAP system, right? Based upon the above exe, whatever the kernel files are there, it will run on this file systems here. Right? That is the one important thing here. Right? System here important things are the system, and so low system and log folder. And 
So yeah, system log folders are some important files here, important folders here, right? So that is the thing here. Yeah, see here, cloning the tables from the original to shadow system, right? It's cloning, it's cloning very long running pages. Tables are getting cloning. Why? Because shadow should be upgraded, right? I mean, then shadow should be upgraded means but should be there is a data from the shadow system as well. Then the data is getting copied, which means the technical word cloning the tables from the original system to the shadow system. It's copying the data. That's what here it's happening in the systems. Okay, that is the shadow concept here. Okay, so you can see the tables will get copy. You can see the tables, data, objects, all the all are all are getting copied here. Control collecting the tables with content. So what are the tables here? You can see it here. So you can you can see it here. Tables list. All right, three processor running here. What are the tables are getting copied here? You can see the tables. Eight nine entries are matched. Added eight nine eight nine empty tables. Right. So distributing all the tables, so it's copying from one to another, it's copying the data, right? We can see it, everything we can see it in the log files. So not only just watching, you need to also review the logs, then you will get the more clues in the systems, okay? That is about the some upgrade. In case of you know, pre-processing is running fine, once the pre-processing is completed, so we cannot roll back. Now we can reset. If the upgrade is stopped, we can reset to the previous status and everything, we can do that one, right? That's possible. That's, we can do that one. Resetting is possible here. But once the, that is completed, we cannot reset or we cannot roll back all those things here. That is the one important thing here. We should know everybody know about this one, right? So that is the some upgrade, port number. So what are the phases? So interview point of time, main important thing is technical discussions. When you go for the attending the interviews or some technical discussion. So how to track the upgrade downtime timelines, how to minimize it, everything by increasing the process. By increasing the process, we can minimize the timelines here. We can minimize the timelines here. Timelines means so by increasing the process, we can minimize the timelines, timelines of the, so now process is running, downtime timelines, we can minimize it. If you increase the process, the downtime timelines will be minimized, Down, downtime timelines will be minimized here. So by increasing the process, the timelines, we can minimize it here. That's what we can do it in the systems. So more important thing, how many phases, suppose like as for your experience, sometimes they may ask you how many phases you have in the sum tool, how to start the sum tool, what is the port number for the sum tool, like where the shadow system will be created, shadow will be upgraded, where to perform the SPDD, SPAU, SPAU we have to perform in the post processing, the SP, SP, DD we have to perform end of the pre-processing means starting of the execution. When, when the system will be downtime, execution phase. So that's what. So that's that is the questions you may get in the interview point of time. Okay. Those things you need to remember all those things. Okay. This is about the some upgrade. Okay. So re you, the remaining steps we can progress offline. Uh, that that will be progressive so you you won't face any issues in the systems that time so because note implementation is done no blockers it will continue to run uh, so when the system is live it can be done but when it is going for one space to another phase that time it will ask your confirmation you need to click then that will go on okay that is the some upgrade okay so that is the some upgrade any questions anyone regarding the some upgrade 